The healthcare system likes to think of you as one thing. You have asthma, you're an asthma patient. You have diabetes, you're a diabetes patient. Arthritis, over here. Heart disease, over here. You here, you here, you over here. There's just one problem. Real patients deal with multiple conditions. Just look at people managing both diabetes and cardiovascular conditions like heart attack, stroke, high blood pressure, or high cholesterol. There's a lot of them because people with type 2 diabetes are twice as likely to develop heart disease. If they struggle with obesity, their risk is even higher. And if they're over age 60, having type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular risk can cut their life short by an average of 12 years. This connection between cardiovascular disease and diabetes isn't just high risk, it's also high cost. Meanwhile, patients are constantly polled in different directions. Specialists for their diabetes, specialists for their heart disease, medications for their diabetes, medications for their heart disease. Two different sets of tests, two sets of insurance hurdles, two sets of medical goals. Managing both diabetes and cardiovascular conditions is hard. A healthcare system that divides patients, services, and providers into silos makes it even harder. But policies that incentivize patient-centered care, those could bring down costs to the entire healthcare system and they could make it easier to manage multiple conditions effectively. So ask yourself, isn't it time we started treating every patient as a whole patient 